Shalom, family. God bless you all. Thank y'all for tuning in for today's property tour. And today we are at Bum Bum 10107 Marino Oaks here in Missouri City, Texas, here at the Sienna Community. And we're going to be checking out this gorgeous custom modern contemporary home by Jamestown Estates. I want to give a huge thank you to them for letting us take a tour of their beautiful house. Now the specs of the home are going to be five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 5,450 square feet. So hopefully you guys enjoy this beautiful home. My wife has fell in love. She's yes. trying to convince me to uh, relocate to Missouri City, if Texas. If it was <laughs> She's already talking about moving. She's like, okay, babe, how do we do this? Okay, <laughs> we just move. I, all just, I love this house. Yeah, definitely a breathtaking home. They just did such an amazing job. So my friends, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for the good news towards the end of the video. Because they don't want to what, wifey? They don't want to miss a good news. So definitely stay tuned. Alrighty, y'all. So as soon as we enter, on my left-hand side, you have the infamous, the must-have of must-haves. Wifey, can you take a guess what room this is? This is the abuela room. The abuela room. You gotta say it a little bit more deeper, like the abuela room. Okay. Like intense. I got it. Yeah, because <laughs> this is where, you know, the, the hard, happens. the cheese man. This is where the, the abuela gets her stuff done, you know. So nice, beautiful room. Got a nice little walk in closet. And I know some people are like, what is an abuela room? Well, I guess you could call it. Well, the um, abuela room. The traits of the Awella room is they have to be, be qualified. Right? I, I was going to say they have to be the first room like that has windows to look through. You know what I mean? Okay, like, gotcha. Like near the door. Right. I was going to say like 65, knows how to make tortillas, like oh is, you're is an, for qualifying abuelas right? like like yeah that's that's like a requirements for abuelas so if she can't make tortillas she doesn't get a room no nah, she gets a room but maybe <laughs> not the abuela room you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> just kidding y'all Alrighty, so got a nice little coat closet here and i'm assuming that this is going to be some one of the garages here so this is going to be a two-car garage all right so if I'm not mistaken, this might just be a four car garage. Wow. Look at these light fixtures. Wife, did you see these beautiful light yes. fixtures? Wow. Look at that. I like what they did though, because it would have looked a little off if it had two chandeliers. Right, I like how they added this spiraling staircase and kind of like this seating area or just kind of living play area there to the right. Oh, I thought that was the office. I didn't even realize that this was the office. Yup, they have a full blown office with the double glass doors. This is beautiful. Very beautiful, look at that. Just wait till they add furniture. It's gonna look I nice. Know. All right. And then look at this. Wow. This just deserves a moment of silence. <laughs> For real. Just some like epic music right the now. The floor is beautiful. Flooring is beautiful. You got the floor to ceiling windows. Plus you have the sliding glass doors. Perfect for the what, wifey? The carne asada. The carne asadas. All right. Or the barbecues, you know, 4th of July weekends, all that good stuff. Um... Which, speaking of that, tomorrow is Abuela's birthday. Not so, like abuela's no, birthday. it really is, guys. So, we're going to be heading out to McAllen. <laughs> so, just keep us in your prayers, guys. Um, we're going to be heading out there, Lord willing, tonight and celebrating having a full blown carne asada at the, my dad's. So, we're super excited. Look at this I know. beautiful marble tops, gorgeous design. Wow. It's just so well put together with the kitchen. I think they just did an absolutely amazing job with the kitchen. 
the color schemes. I know. She's already giving me the look, guys. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. But no, seriously, this is definitely like a house that we would probably like definitely in the next couple of years like try to strive for. Yeah. Beautiful house. Hopefully we already got the little children by then. By then we'll have the kiddos running around. So we'll have enough rooms for them and for guests. All right, you got the uh, Thermador appliances, um, chef's kitchen. And then you got kind of like a little breakfast nook here. Okay. I love this house. I just can't get over it. Well, the see. thing is, we see so many houses and I love them all. I, <laughs> I think this one is definitely in the top ranks for sure. Really? I think, yeah, because like the exterior just, I mean, that was, the exterior just is gorgeous. breathtaking. They just killed it with that one. Okay, now I here... You have like a half bathroom here, kind of hidden. You were gonna say, wife? Oh, no, no, this is not oh. a half bathroom, but this is kind of like the storage under the staircase, which we would make into. Like a little doggy room. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. You were gonna say something, wifey? Yeah, I was gonna say, I still have dreams about that one house that we toured. Which one? You know, the brown and black one. You know the brown and black about? one. Super modern. Sheesh, the brown and black one. Well, I dream about that house a lot. Are you going to be dreaming about this one? Yeah, for sure. This one? This is, you see, that's the thing about being in real estate and being a married couple, we all, <laughs> is uh, you're going to see houses that, I mean, you just, you're just going to continuously, like, no. we walk into some beautiful homes and we're like, meh, all right, well, this one's nice. But they could have done this, this, and this. Like we become like the builders. the builders, like in our minds, and we're like, okay, they could have added this, maybe some marble flooring. Um, so but what yeah. area do you think that was? Was that like an extra living space? Right, I would say that was kind of like a media, maybe a kids game room area. Then we got the other kiddos rooms here, little Bobby's room, <laughs> <laughs> and then you got these three nice huge windows, and you have a nice little extra storage here, which I think, I would assume this, they're gonna make this into yeah. a closet, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. And then you got the mud room here. It's an off place for a mud room. No, because the garage is actually right here, so. Oh, they would come through the garage. Yeah. Put stuff here. Okay. Washer and dryer here. And actually, we haven't even touched the master. I haven't even seen that, so I'm excited. We have it? No. And then you got an additional two-car garage here. So it is a four-car garage. Mm-hmm. Four cars, guys. And uh, just a big pro tip right now um, in the market, what you guys are seeing is a lot of builders, new construction, are probably offering by far the best incentives uh, for clients right now. To buy down their rates. I mean, we've seen what, like ten, twenty, thirty thousand uh dollars -huh. just incentives being thrown at buyers to combat the current rates and everything happening in the market. So it is definitely a good time to uh look into the market, right? Yeah. So and if they don't decide to buy down the rate, what can they do with that money? They you could apply that cash to your closing costs. Um, so that's always good. Um but once again, just keep in mind that it is going to vary from builder to builder. So, mm -hmm. but uh, oh wow, look at this! Oh wow, beautiful master. I love I love the fact that they added these windows. Yeah, those look at that. So breathtaking. So maybe add like a little seating area there. Nice big. Okay. Nice the big king. king bed, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's got this nice little view of the backyard here. You know, one thing we really love about selling homes is when our clients, like, they move in and they build out their dream homes or, like, this is, like, their dream home and they're, they're just, it's just an... I've cried at least twice. Yeah, it's, it's such a beautiful home. moment of when people move in. Um, okay, we got the his and hers vanity on each side. You got the freestanding tub and then... An extra 
extra. Extra Actually, vanity. Actually, I think this is the, like, her vanity. Right, yes. And her then that makeup. one, too. Mm-hmm. Her makeup. Look at you. You know the game. I'm already, guys, I've already set it up in my mind. <laughs> All right, this is where she's going to be at. Beautiful stand-up shower. So gorgeous. Wow. And then you got the toilet here. The water room, as one of the builders called it. The water room? The water room. Why? Why do they call it that? Um, he said he, it sounds nicer than the toilet. The toilet, okay. <laughs> Let's call it the water room now, guys. Beautiful master closet. Wow. Maybe they should have had like a little chandelier here. That would have been nice. Yeah. Kind of add that little touch. But overall, beautiful job. Gorgeous job. Mm-hmm. Favorite part of the house right now, wife, what is it? Favorite part of the house? Yes. Um, definitely the entrance. The entrance? The entrance is like just... Immaculate, right? Immaculate. Like the, that sitting space with the stairs, like that right there is just gorgeous. Wow. Look at those windows. It just looks so open. Look at this. Beautiful. Now keep in mind guys, um, when it comes to custom building, that process alone can take, you know, 13 to 14 to maybe even 12 months, especially with everything going on with supply chains. But, um, you know, they do, some of the custom builders are actually releasing spec homes where they'll really get their popular top selected things that co consumers have been choosing and they build out the homes in the community and uh, they already pre-selected with some of the upgrades. So just some things to look into. Okay, this is gonna be Sally's room, correct? I was gonna say Sophia. Sophia? Yeah, but hey, we thought of the letter S. <laughs> there you go. And then we got its own bathroom here. And then you got a nice little walk-in closet. Okay. My wife is so good at hiding. hiding. Yeah, she's like, dodges the front I usually of... take off my shoes because if I don't, then you'll hear me like, chancleteando all, Chancleteando. all the way around the house. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the media room. Nice. You got the double doors here and then right now they are finishing up i think this piece of the carpet so that's why it's but this is so pretty that'd be like this little hallway like this is so pretty yeah like look at this you can over overlook in the living room you know you could once you throw those those uh new year's parties you know right. have the guests downstairs and it'd be really nice okay Let's head on over to Jimmy's room here. Nice little room. This definitely feels like a Jimmy's room. It does? Yeah. You get Jimmy vibes in this mm -hmm. room? Absolutely. All right, you got a full bath here. Single vanity, and then you got your nice little walk-in closet. Okay. Honestly, you... if the stairs weren't a thing, this would be the abuela room. Which one? Oh, upstairs? Yeah, because you can see down to the front. Oh, she could be the night watch <laughs> looking overlooking the front yard. Yeah, no, this is... You gotta always have the abuelo downstairs. What would this be? This would be like extra space or you can't... Right, I would say like kind of like a hangout lounge. You maybe set up a pool table, mm -hmm. some plasmas. Um, oh, there's more. Wow. This, yes. Okay. You got a little Bobby's room. Oh, wait, I already said Bobby. Um, you said Jimmy. I said Jimmy, right? But you said no, Bobby? No, I, I said Bobby too, yeah. <laughs> Let's, Freddy. There we go, Freddy's room. His name is actually Frederick, but we call him Freddy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, Frederick's room. Nice little walk-in closet. And got its own bath here. All right. This is really nice. They did such an amazing job. 
And uh, once again, I want to give a huge thank you to them. Uh, I'm going to show you guys their Instagram. You guys can check us out on the IG as well if you guys haven't already. Follow us at Nava Realty Group. And then we also have our personal Instagram that you guys can check out as well. I don't think we have signal going on in here, but Nava Family TX. And we just launched our second YouTube channel, mm -hmm. Wifey, right? We did our first video. We did our first video. We're super excited um, to share that with you guys, our testimonial, how how I came to Christ through my wife and how just our, just, I mean, they, they got to watch it. You guys have to watch it. We're not even going to talk too much about it, but. It was a short testimony. Short testimony, yeah. I, I believe it was. And then uh, here's the builders. Hopefully it loads, but it's going to be Jamestown Estates Homes on Instagram. You guys can check them out. Just give them a thank you for letting us tour their beautiful houses. They do such an absolutely amazing job. And if you guys are looking to move to the Dallas, Houston, San Antonio area, um, then we do have a type form in the description. That is the best way to get in touch with us. If you guys are looking to build or to get a new home, um, we do have those opportunities available, but aside from that, man, come on, let's let's get a, get let's get a, let's get into the real stuff, okay, y'all? I'm about to get hype because you know that's you know that's real estate talk, you know. It's but now we're gonna talk about Jesus. When we talk about Jesus, it just the mood changes, right? Uh, but hey, guys, thank y'all for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more, and uh, we got some good news headed your way. Y'all ready for this good news, wifey? John want three sixteen. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten Son, and all one ever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. My friends, there's, and we're going to work on that with you. I know. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, <laughs> but hey, listen, y'all. That is the good news, my friends. These houses are gorgeous. The builders, designers, architects. Wouldn't you say they have God-given talent? Absolutely. Right? Beautiful talent. You can't do that by yourself. You can't. Like, God is definitely has just given these guys talent to create these beautiful houses. And uh, they are breathtaking, guys. But let me, let me reel you in real quick, all right? What if I told you that there is a home that is none like other? A home that does not come to end. Oh, come on, baby. Play the, play, play the piano right now. No, like something epic. A home that is from everlasting to everlasting. A home that does not come to an end. The builder, an the architect, architect, the, the designer, designer, the landscaper, the plumber. Dude. Is God Almighty? Come on now. Can I get a witness? Neighbor. <laughs> That's a neighbor. But listen, y'all. Y'all better be just as hype as we are because, listen, there is an eternal home awaiting all of us. If you put your trust in Jesus Christ, you repent of your sins. Rest assured, my friends, we'll be seeing you on that one-way mm -hmm. ticket to, to, to heaven, all right, through Christ. Okay, my friends? And that is the good news, all right? That is the good news that uh, it's good news for everybody, right? Amen, yeah. And listen, you're going to have trials and tribulations throughout this life, okay? Mm -hmm. You are. Um, when we talked about our testimony, we... We kind of left a little snippet at the end of the video, and I want to share this with you guys. Is uh, when I when I was not a believer, and you know, when my wife uh, she was praying for me, I used to just make fun of her. Or I used to just think that this stuff was silly, right? And my wife asked me a question yesterday that uh, got me really thinking. Cause she, what was the question you asked me? You said, uh, what, what, "Where was the point that you started yeah. to to actually?" get convicted and start wanting to change wanting to change right and I, it actually got me thinking while i was in the testimonial like what was that moment and in reality is when i started to to read the gospels and i started looking to the life of christ matthew mark luke and john um and i wasn't i the way i was treating my wife was in a sense she was trying to show me the love of Christ, but I wasn't rejecting her. I was rejecting Christ that was working through her, right? Because she was trying to show me love and care and, and you know, mm -hmm. all these things, right? And I just kept being angry and saying, no, I don't want to hear about 
God, I don't want to hear about this stuff. It's it's silly. It's stupid. This and that. Uh, but like I said, when when I really started to look into the scriptures and when I really just sat down and and uh, saw the life of Christ and what He did on this earth and how He shed His precious blood for you and for me, His character, His character, um, it really convicted me. And I had two options, right? I, I it came down to this point where I had two options. Am I going to still continue to live this sinful life? Am I going to still continue to be um, just a bad husband and and continue to be this person that I wasn't happy being, right? Carrying this burden. And and uh, so I had that option. Or the other option is like, you know what? I put my faith in Christ and I trust. And I just, I take that leap of faith, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's definitely a very... Um, <clears throat> kind of crossroad moment mm -hmm. yeah, but uh sure. but listen oh wife you want to say something? i was gonna say you know it's like i feel like even for me at that time I, I like i said i tried to be the holy spirit for you and i tried to like kind of convict you by telling you how you made me feel in certain aspects but the reality is that shoot i lost my train of thought the but, reality is that you can't be the Holy Spirit for right, that no, person. I can't. You, you, in a sense, you have to let God work mm -hmm. in them, right? You got to let God work in them. And, and oh, I actually so as well. Like for example, with us, I felt like I needed, like we were saying, like I wanted to be the Holy Spirit for you, and that didn't work. Right. And nothing else I tried worked. So for me, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just, you know, give it to God sacrifice that let god do the work because what i did wasn't working at all right so if you're in a situation where it's like nothing you're, that you're doing is working mm -hmm. just give it to god just surrender it to god leave it to the lord guys leave it to the lord so i don't know why but god just put it in my heart to, to tell somebody this i'm not sure who's watching this and maybe you're praying for that individual and they just haven't came around, whether it be a brother, sister, neighbor, friend, and you're just you just want to shake them. You're like, why? <laughs> you know, like listen to what I'm telling you. Trust me, guys. We we have family members that we we still love them, and um, but uh, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Keep praying for them. Keep praying and just give it to the Lord. When yeah. it's it's God's timing, it's not our timing. God's timing is always what? It's always the perfect timing. It's just always the perfect timing. Love your family members or whoever you're praying for where they're at. Show the love of Christ through your life. Exactly. And and just don't don't push them so much because at a point like you know I like you were saying like you felt like sometimes when people were pushing you it kind of like steered me away farther. right it, it pushed me farther. Um, and that's that's where we have to be walking examples right. Right. We have to let people see Christ through us, right? We have to, the Bible says that we we are the light of the earth, right? The light mm -hmm. and the dark, uh, the salt of the earth, mm -hmm. guys. And we have to just, listen, walk the walk. Yeah. Right? Walk the walk through Christ, my friends. Exactly. So uh, just let, let God work through you because at one point I stopped trying. Trying and you just let God work I just work let in. God work and I yeah. just kept praying and kept living like christ and you saw that and i saw that she just wouldn't fight back she would just love me and and even till this day sometimes we hey it's not to say that we're perfect yeah. right now we still go through listen we just had a little small um argument. not argument but a, a, a intense a, an intense fellowship moment <laughs> after, before this video but it's okay because i went and i apologized the lord convicted me and uh here we are now we're mm -hmm. still listen it's it's it is a it is a walk right mm -hmm. it is a long walk uh, we just got to keep the faith we got to keep pushing um like brother paul says keep the faith right and we just got to endure to the very end Amen. and just know that christ is with you he loves you so much you right there that is watching this video it's not a coincidence that you're here with us right now because listen hey things don't just happen out of coincidence it is not a coincidence because listen god's hand is right here it's always been right here the question is are you going to take that hand or not that's a decision you have to make. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about y'all, but me and my wife. Dude, we're holding strong. To the Lord's hand. We're like, Lord, we we, we need you. We cannot do this without you. No. Seriously, we, and can. we can't. We really can't. We really can't. And we just give it to him. And it's like we always say, men will fail you. But one man person, will, yes. God will never fail you. God will never fail you. Come on now. Can I get a witness? Okay. <laughs> he loves you. 
All right, tell a friend about the good news. Tell them the gospel. Listen, these are the most important parts of the video is the gospel, the good news. All right, so thank you all so much for watching. As always, stay tuned for more. God bless you and your families. Wifey, thank you once again. Uh, if you, I, I, I love having my wife now in the videos. I think mm -hmm. it's unusual if I don't have her in the videos. So I, I appreciate you for oh, being here. I right. love being here. So anyways, y'all take care. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.